This is going to be today's drawing. This is a crane fly. Uh, it's based on these photos that I took. I like this kind of stinger thing hanging down from its head. Um, so these photos, they aren't, they aren't super detailed. And my drawing is a little bit imaginary in some areas. I've kind of added not fantasy elements, but just details and things that's you know maybe not true to what a crane fly really is. Um, but I just like this fella. Took a photo of him when he was in my insect vacuum, which is this thing. Uh, you just take the end off here and you suck up the bugs that are stuck against the window, the ones that have got into the house and trying to escape. So I just help them out and maybe take a photo of them before I let them go. This is the pen I used, uh, among others. This is the Japanese uh, fountain pen with a really fine nib. So it was good for this fine detail that this needed. To get those thin legs, uh, good. And I did use other pens. So for these front legs I used the, the Sailor pen and now I've changed. You see I'm using this grey one. Uh, the grey pen is a Faber-Castell Eco Pigment, which doesn't mean so much, but I just picked it up because it was 0.1. So it's maybe a little bit finer lines than the Sailor fountain pen. Uh, so I used it to pick out some extra detail. So yeah, some of the detail in the head and the body there, I'm just, I kind of made up some of that stuff. I mean, a bit like when people first started studying animals and they didn't have any way to take a photograph or to magnify small things. They probably did something similar and they just kind of imagined some of the details. So that's what this is. It's not really truly anatomically correct, um, but it's something like a crane fly. It's kind of what I can see when I look at that crane fly. Maybe I've made his spiky mouthpiece a bit more awesome. Um, but I'm not sure if it is even a stinger. There's some discussion online. There's like an urban myth that uh, crane flies have the most venomous poison of all insects, but they have no way of stinging you. But it was just a rumour really, that's not really true. So I got this far with the crane fly drawing, uh, rubbed off all the pencil lines underneath to clean it up like I do when I've finished, brushed away all the bits of rubber, and I'm thinking well, is it finished? Shall I do some more? What more would it need? And then I remembered the, the Copic markers, um, which I had used on the previous drawing, uh, quite crudely just to add these big chunky brush lines here and around the box here, just to add some shadow. Uh, did use it on the train a bit more carefully just to pick out some of the details, make it almost a bit coloured in looking. And here I used it again, just sort of some shading on the body parts of the bug. So I did think about it for a while and then I thought, I'm going to ruin it. And then I thought, well, no, I'm here to learn something, learn how to use these artistic materials that I've got, these art supplies. Uh, so yeah. I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. So I just chose the one that's really light grey and I went over these, the details that had already made a bit dark already with, with the lines and the hatching lines. Uh, so I went over those. Kind of felt a little bit like cheating, like I'm just adding darkness to areas that I should have been braver to add darker lines to or more lines. But uh, no, I guess it's just mixed media. A lot of artists use different materials on one piece of work. Uh, there's nothing to say that this should only be pen lines on paper. So uh, and, and I think it helped, you know, adding the grey underneath or on top of, of my old lines. It made the whole image stand out a bit. I mean, it didn't really change it massively, but I think it improved the drawing, made it look more detailed in a way, even though I'm just adding grey, I'm just adding a tonal 
value. The detail is kind of already there in what I've drawn underneath, and I'm just adding, I guess, contrast to make it stand out from the white paper more. I did go back. You can kind of layer these pens. So I did go back and uh, kind of drew on top of what I'd done the first time. It's like a second pass almost, just to darken up some of these ones to be a little bit more darker again. It was good for the legs. It really worked well on the stripy legs. It was quite easy to control that big brush tip, even on really fine areas like the legs. Just to finish off, I uh, did a bit more erasing. There was a few more faint uh, pencil lines there. Uh, so there we have it, one finished crane fly. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with the drawing, and I'm glad that I went in with the Copic markers and, and added that shading. I think that really helped. Here's a little box to click on. It'll take you to another video of mine, maybe an older video of a drawing long since finished, or maybe a video from the future.